it's it's been a while. Um, obviously, I don't want this video to be one of those, you know, oh, sorry that I haven't posted in however many months. Um, because obviously, I think you guys have a, a pretty good inclination of what has caused me not to be posting. Um, but we're coming up on the end of the semester, um, the end of my last semester at Yale. And in fact, in five days, I will have my last day of class and will officially be done with classes at Yale. Um, obviously, I spent um, I spent this past weekend doing stuff with my secret society, super busy, didn't even think about school. Uh, and now I'm back and a lot of deadlines ahead of me. To be completely honest, it like doesn't feel real at all. Um, and I was talking about this with some friends the other day. I totally just kicked the tripod. It's almost like we said goodbye to Yale last March when all the COVID stuff happened and we knew we weren't going to be coming back to finish like my junior year. So like I. I feel like I should be sad about graduation, but like, it's like I don't, <laughs> it, it's like almost like I've already like grieved the loss or the end of my college experience, you know? Um, but it does feel weird to be like entering the world and becoming an adult. And I can't even explain to you how burnt out I am of academic work from the semester, um, especially since we didn't, Yale didn't have a spring break this semester. I feel like that was a somewhat common thing among a lot of schools, but rather they chose to give us, you know, random break days throughout the semester where we were, we were like supposed to not be working, but in reality, like all of us were working because we had to catch up on stuff. Um, so it's been a long, long haul and I have one week left to finish my thesis, to finish some final papers. It's definitely very stressful, but it's also, like I, f I feel like I shouldn't be stressing about it because it's like my last week of classes. Obviously I have a couple more weeks till graduation still, but it's my last week of classes and it's like, why am I stressing about something that I've come to love so much? Um, so I'm just, you know, trying to not like, it's not like I'm throwing my grades away or anything, um, but I'm, you know, trying to come to terms with the fact that I'm leaving this place so soon and trying to, you know, spend as much time with the people that I love here um, friends, professors, advisors, mentors, everyone along the lines um, before I eventually depart. But anyways, that was a little sappy note. Um, I need to, I'll update you guys on where I'm at with my thesis and some other stuff. I'll take you along for the rest of the evening, but uh, I think my rice is done. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason It's one of my favorite things to cook since, you know, living off campus and going off the meal plan. It's basically like a massive burrito bowl. I just fill it up with a bunch of different stuff. Um, so with that, I'm going to probably watch some Netflix, eat this, and then I'll uh, show you guys how my thesis is coming. Okay, dinner was great, but now I'd love to show you guys kind of some updates on my thesis. If you haven't seen my thesis video, I highly recommend checking it out, but I'm writing my thesis on the applications of deep learning to password cracking, and unfortunately it's due in two weeks, so I'm, it's a rush to the finish line right now, but I'm trying to have a solid draft completely done by the end of this week. So I have five days. Most of my code is done at this point. Now I'm just uh, retraining models with a you know more cleaned and concise data set. But here, I'll kind of walk you through what I've been working on so far. So you can see here is my whole VS Code terminal. And you can see that I have three main models that I'm working with right now. The GAN, the LSTM recurrent neural network, and then the V variational autoencoder, the VAE. Um, so those are the three models that I'm working with right now. It's been um, quite an interesting time. I was able to get the recurrent neural net, the LSTM up, set up pretty quickly within the first couple weeks of my thesis. The GAN has been a constant fight. Um, if any of you are, have any experience training GANs, you know it's super hard uh, dealing with mode collapse, gradient explosion, vanishing gradients, all those certain things. Um, so it's been quite the struggle. That took like about six weeks and then I've spent the past two weeks um, doing the variational autoencoder, which is slightly simpler than the GAN, but still more complex than the, than the LSTM network. So everything's trained right now and then. It's really interesting. Um, let me set this back up on the tripod. Um, but basically I, was able to get access to the Yale High Performance Computing Center, which is basically a big building full of supercomputers, which, cause like initially when I was, you know, estimating how long it would take to train um, my first network, just the simple LSTM one, um, that, 
<laughs> that estimate ended up being like 60 days for a single epic. So a single run through the data set, which is 60 days on my normal computer, which obviously isn't optimized for deep learning at all. So after reaching out to my advisor and getting some help, I was able to get an account on the Yale High Performance Computing Center, which is super cool. Um, it did take some time to learn how to use because rather than um, just coding on specific nodes, you have to like enter a specific interactive mode if you actually want to test stuff live because um, you can't test it on the node that you log in on, like the, the actual computer. Um, and then any long-term jobs, which most of my jobs do have to be long-term because they take you know a day, anywhere between a day and like five days, um, then I need to actually submit what's called like a slurm job. So you can see an example of a slurm job here. It's pretty much just a bash script that says exactly what commands I want to run. Um, and with the exact, I need to also like specify the exact hardware that I want to use. So then I just submit that job to a queue and it sits there and normally after 10 or 15 minutes it, it's accepted and it starts running. Um, and then I specify an output file for all of the, you know, everything that's going to the standard output of the computer so I can, you know, check up on that live. Um, so, you know, that's been kind of the process. I'll submit a job and I'll sit here and I'll wait check in the next night, see how it's doing, see if it's training correctly, make sure everything's working good. And if not, you know, cancel it, submit the job again. Uh, otherwise I just wait till it's done. Now the other side of my thesis is the writing aspect, um, which isn't super intense. It just involves doing a full write up um, for everything that I coded. Basically, you know, like a typical, you know, computer science paper. So this is what I have currently, a beautiful LaTeX document. I'm actually typing everything up in a Google Doc first. So I can have all that spell check, so I don't have to worry about that when I actually plug it into LaTeX, because that's normally a pain. But I'm about 10 pages in, maybe 12 if you count the references. And um, it's not like it has a specific page limit or anything. It's more just, you know, how long does it take to actually properly explain your project. Um, so mine is probably going to be somewhere in the range of like 25 to 30 pages. Um, it could be shorter, but you know, I thin down the margins, adjust the font so it looks super good. Um, but that is going to be my main task for the next week. So with that, I'm going to get back to work. So it's almost midnight, so I think I'm gonna call it a night because uh, I still have to take the time to edit this video. It's a very productive day, made a good amount of progress. Most of my code is pretty much where I need it to be right now. There's a couple small adjustments I need to make. Um, otherwise, I'm just waiting on these jobs to finish from the High Performance Computing Center. Once those get back, I'll be able to you know, actually run some experiments, have these things generate some passwords for me um, and see how accurate they are. With that, I, I really want to emphasize that this was very much just a casual, like me sitting down, filming and talking sort of video. And that's for a couple reasons. One, um, these types of videos, I feel like I can get a lot more information and share a lot more with you guys, like personally, um, and get it up to you as fast as possible because it doesn't take as long to edit. Don't have to add any, you know, fancy transitions and all those sort of things into it as well. Um, although I do like doing that um, and I would like to put those in future videos, just want to emphasize that this is kind of a different style that I'm experimenting with. Um, and if you like it, uh, you know, drop a like down below. Um, tell me what you think in the comments section. And if this is the first video you've seen for some reason, if you want to more, learn more about Yale, me, computer science, anything along those lines, uh, feel free to subscribe. So with that, uh, I'd love to continue sharing with you guys some of my life as I live out my final days at Yale and move on into the future. Hopefully I'll be back again with another video soon, but until then, see ya.